Gardens is a place where lower income people have a chance to grow their own fruits and vegetables. We get people involved by providing workshops. Uh, usually there are monthly workshops. Uh, this past month, as you can see behind me, is uh, growing a low bed, keeping it, keeping your outdoor vegetables warm. Even though there may be a frost coming up, there are some. Throughout the last several years, I've really seen people um, getting motivated and seeing um, the impact that just working in the garden for a couple of minutes every week or like an hour every week and also the impact of eating, eating healthy foods that you're growing yourself has on people and to me that's really um, what drives me to do the work that I'm doing. When I first got here there was one of these high tunnels so it's evolved a lot since I have moved to West Virginia. I moved to West Virginia three years ago as an AmeriCorps VISTA um, and VISTA stands for Volunteer and Service to America and it was a year-long program and I was um, my position was local foods coordinator so that's how I really became involved in the local food projects in um, Mingo County including the community gardens, the Williamson Farmers Market and my mobile market help promote um, healthy eating by so right now we're at the community garden um, at the within these tunnels, one of which I'm standing in, uh, we grow produce for the farmer's market. Mingo County is classified as a food desert, so many parts of the county have low access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Mingo County is statistically um, quite unhealthy. The obesity rates are high, and additionally, much of the population are low income. Access to healthy foods is a real issue here. So, we brought fresh fruits and vegetables to people and also helped them afford them, those fresh fruits and vegetables by distributing vouchers and we also accepted food stamps so that low income residents could purchase those fruits and vegetables. When I first started working at the community garden, it was um, really hard to actually get people out. Each year, we've slowly gained more volunteers. Newspaper ads, radio advertisements, I use social media a little bit. Um, we have a Facebook page. And really, a lot of um, our outreach is word of mouth. Many people were uh, skeptical of how it was going to work or whether it was going to work. And so a lot of the work fell on just a few people. Now this summer, we're working with local youth and growing warriors. Um, Tug Valley High School, which is a local high school, just uh, started an agriculture program. So this summer we'll be hiring six um, interns from Tug Valley to help work at local farms. I mean, we live in a culture where people are eating fast food regularly and drinking soda all the time. And, um, in Mingo County where people don't have access to um, fresh produce regularly, that's their go-to generally, and so to be able to um, provide people with uh, um, an outlet of where they can get fresh fruits and vegetables affordably is really important, and I see the rewards.